This video will explain how to create variables and form a data set in R. This is the first step in learning how to manipulate data in an R program. And before doing so, you must have some data to work with. So in this video, we will work with a small fake data set based on everyday information of your own creation. And doing so, working with a small fake data set has three main benefits. First, you will learn how to create data out of everyday numerical information in an R environment. Second, by using data of your own creation, you can delay dealing with the challenges in important large external data sets. And finally, working with a small data set enables you to set to see how the code interacts with data. Suppose you have information about a restaurant's supply order, such as cups, plates, burgers, buns, forks, and ketchup over a three month period. You can create a data set or data frame as an R lingua by including four variables, item, quantity, month, and day. To accomplish this, we'll go through several steps. The first line should be always a comment line to tell you and others who will read your code what you are going to do in the next line. And if also this line or hashtag sign in front of, at the start of the line tells R to ignore this line when running the program. It is important and necessary to have such comment lines in an R program file so that you and others can keep track of what the program is doing. The next few lines of code will create four variables, each using C function as in many other R readers in this series. So the item variable indicates the types of items ordered. It contains characters or strings. So each element or observation, as we call it, such as cups, plates, burgers, buns, forks, and ketchup, are elements or observations, and they should be, must be enclosed by quotation marks. The other three variables, quantity, month, and day, indicate the quantity of each item ordered each time, the month of each order, and the day of each order, respectively. So, all of the values are numeric. For all four variables, elements must be separated by commas inside the C function. The sixth line of code is also a comment line, explaining that the next line of code creates data set. The seventh line of code creates a data set called orders. So the word orders go first, then assignment symbol, and then the data frame function, which collects the four variables that we have just created, item, quantity, month, and day, to form a data set of rows and columns. Rows are observations and columns are variables. The output of the data set of the data frame function is then will be assigned to the data set orders that will appear on the global environment in your R Studio. So now you can display the now we can run this code to create the data set. And to run this code we highlight all the code lines and then go to code and run selected lines. And as you can see here, on the global environment in your R Studio, your orders data set is created and it tells you that there are six observations and four variables. And if it lists four variables, item, quantity, month, and day, 
and also it lists the observations for each of the of the variables. Uh, item one has each variable has six observations, right? So item has observations such as cups, plates, burgers, buns, etc. And then here on the values, we have uh, the list of all the variables in our data set. Now we can also use a display. Uh, we can display the data set in the R console. And first we write a comment line of what the next code line will do. And then we put orders. And once we run this code line, it displays the data set. Don't forget to save your program file. It is important to do so because R does not automatically save your program for you. Also, saving practice programs, such as the one above, is a great practice for you later on, since you can use these program files as templates for your own future program creation and data analysis. So in this video, you learn how to create variables and form a data set in R.